Hey guys and girls, how are you going? Um, well, you're with Max, of course, and my channel Cold Days. And if you remember correctly, uh, if you watched my last videos, I did um, a couple of portraits. I did uh, Martin from Flat Earth British. And I did Danny from the group The Unfuckers on um, Facebook. <sighs> I've sent those off, they're on their way. Now I've got the next job. Now I do have a couple more portraits to do. Actually, I did, I did get a couple more uh, canvases, blank canvases, and one of the next jobs I'm going to do is going to be Max Egan. And if you remember the portrait I did of Campbell, I'm doing a portrait of his friend Kelly. Um, so that's coming up soon. But first, I have, as you can see behind me, we say in Australia, of course, bonnet but in america it's a hood so anyway it's a bonnet slash hood and uh that's uh for a customer um i've got to try and get it done for christmas and there's a lot of work to do so i mean doing a portrait you've got one subject but this one's going to be lord of the rings so there's obviously going to be multiple characters so it's going to keep me head down bum up for a, a, a good part of a week maybe a week and a half so i'll show you what i've got to do first a little bit of prep to do first so i'll just so as you can see i mean the paint looks fairly normal around the edge but being australian uh, weather conditions especially in wa very um hot sort of brutal uh, weather we get here very hot summers and usually uh, factories these days only put a very light uh, clear coat on new cars that's why you see so many cars getting around with shitty looking paint jobs potentially nice cars but the paint looks like crap so so what I've got to do here um, first of all I'm going to start with the um, wax and grease remover and what you need there is a nice clean cloth Soak it, put lots of that on, go right over. Be very, very thorough, uh, especially around edges and around the front of the hood slash bonnet because you'll find you'll get a lot of greasy fingerprints and marks. Um, so first thing, clean. Second, I've got the wet and dry. So what I'll do is I'll mix a little bit of... Um, in a empty container, a little bit of soapy water, and I'll get that and I'll wet and dry the whole thing. After that, I'll get a clean cloth, go over it again, clean it once I've sanded the whole surface. So I'll be just basically with the sandpaper taking off the shine and getting everything smooth, getting any bits and rough bits and that out of it. So once I've got it all sanded, I'll go over it again with a clean cloth and also a tack cloth. If you don't know what a tack cloth is, it's a, um, a little bit of cloth, obviously, uh, but it's got a like a sticky surface to it and that'll pick up any um, dust particles and rubbish left on the surface. So uh, step one, clean and prep the whole thing up for paint. And then after that, do my uh, wizardry with the paints. And of course, today I went down and bought a uh, clear coat pack. I've got the clear and I've got the hardener. But first of all, I have to get on my computer and printer. I've got all sorts of images on there. I've got to print them out. I've got to get the scale roughly right, print them, and uh, then I'll sort of map out roughly where everything's going to go on there. So uh, Lord of the Rings, and hopefully uh, I can knock this job over without taking too much time. That's it, and I'm pretty keen to get into uh, 
the next canvas paintings. I've been quite enjoying those, getting some good results. Um, that's something else I wanted to say too, is um, the, the people that I've done the portraits for, I have done them uh, as gifts, you know, like um, Jace, Jason Brashears, Campbell from Autodidactic, Danny, which was the last one, and Martin from Flat Earth British. Having said that, um, I'm not doing free portraits for everyone because for obvious reasons, um, you know, it costs money to buy these. It costs me uh, money to, because I live out in the countryside, it costs me money to run into town to and fuel money to buy these. It costs me money for power, for postage. I mean, to send a canvas painting overseas, you know, you're looking around about $60, $70 or more. So it's not cheap. So naturally, you know, I'm, I'm just a normal person. I can't afford to be painting, you know, lots and lots of, uh, paintings for people at my expense so obviously um, in the future when I do portraits if people want me to paint family members or, or whoever I'm happy to do it but I'm gonna have to charge a fee um, and I'm happy to put that information down below um, the people I have done the paintings for is gifts of people that I follow and um, I have a few more to do yet, and I, I will continue to do those ones. But it's a beneficial thing for me too. Not only are they getting a, um, a nice memory, a nice painting to hang on the wall, but for me, you know, they go, oh, hey, Max did the portrait, and I get a lot more attention on my channel, which my channel's only 12 months old. I certainly need the help to, uh, you know, grow my channel. But anyway... Without going on, um, if you guys want to stick around and watch me, I'll probably break this um, Lord of the Rings job on the hood down in probably, I'm, I'm guessing, about three parts. There's a lot of work to do on it. So if you want to stick around, you want to watch, um, tell your friends, tell your family, get people to come to my channel, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe. I appreciate all of it. But uh, on that note, I'm going to get into it. So as you can see here, I've started printing out some of the characters. I've got oh, one, two, three, three more, I think. Um, I'm going to do some orcs in there and I've got to do the background and somewhere, somewhere in here I've got to do the ring 
work out what background scenery I'm doing and of course I mainly want to capture the faces and position so uh, there are going to be different scales some will be in the foreground like him and him Gandalf will be and the others will probably be further back not as large um, I'll put a few orcs on this side so for now I'm just kind of uh, mapping out where I want everything to be. I gave that a uh, bit of a sand down. I've um, done the wax and grease remover. I'm going to go over it again. Bit of wax and grease remover. This little bit of dust. And I'll give it a good um, tack cloth after that. And I'll finish printing out the pictures and working out where I want them to go. Once I've got them where I need them, I'll... Uh, start one character at a time so I'll, I'll start uh, mapping out and airbrushing one character at a time get them where I'm happy move to the next move to the next so it's not a small job normally I do a, um, a, a canvas painting a portrait and I'm doing one subject but there's multiple so that's why I say I'm going to be breaking this um, down into a, probably about three three part video but uh, anyway, that's what I'm up to. <clears throat> so I'm going to memorise where each character is. Might take a photo, and then what I'm going to do, I want to mask up all of the edges, because I want to keep the original colour on the edges, so I don't want to get any overspray. So I'll mask that up, cover that, and then I'm going to tack cloth the whole thing down. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a bit of white, base coat, and I'm going to do a light, um, just a, a coating and a white base coat. That way I can uh, pencil out and mark out what's going to happen, where everything's going, etc. And this side, as I said before, it's going to have orcs on that side, like the bad guys. And there's a good guy, so you've got foreground. He's behind him. These two are... Uh, kind of the central characters and I want to put Gandalf somewhere but the, the difficult thing is he's holding a sword it'll come out here he's got his uh, bow and arrow and he'll have his pole axe so it's also working out where the pole axe and the weapons and all the bits are that it's not covering the characters up so I've got to probably during the process of painting as I'm building more sort of detail with the characters, I might find certain areas are covering up certain characters. I'll have to reshuffle and rethink. So uh, a lot of the work, I just sort of work it out as I go. So we'll see how I go with this. I've got a little bit of uh, blue pinstriping tape. I'm getting a bit low. I went to the paint shop yesterday and I thought... I need to get mixing cups, filters, pinstriping tape, masking tape, and I didn't buy any of that. So anyway, I did buy the clear coat, thank God, that was my, my main mission. Right, I'll start on this.
that's been a pretty hard day. It's been hot. I've had flies walking all over my neck and my ears and on my face. And uh, the position of this, uh, it, it's just, I thought it would be a really good position. Um, it needs to be closer to me because I find I'm leaning forward and my back is killing me. But I'm getting there. So I've just got to put up with all of that and keep uh, plodding on. So I think probably another two, maybe three at a stretch videos. Um, that's part one. And I'm reasonably happy. There's still heaps to do. Uh, I'm so dry, I've got to go inside and scull some water. And uh, I'll attack this again tomorrow with a fresh set of eyes. So this video has been part one. Hope you like it. And Alaska, as always, you know what I'm going to say next anyway. Please give my uh, video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe ding to my channel it's always much appreciated it helps my channel to grow and on that note i'll see you on the next video ciao